Wait a moment. This isn't a furry visual novel. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drakewing Game, and I said you may on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. I believe we are on Case Case Path. That's right, y'all. We're gonna jump right in back into Case Case Path, but before that, I wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel in our upcoming future endeavors, and y'all will get permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to our future Not Safe for Work videos, y'all. For as little as $5, y'all can gain access to all that. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. Uh, I mean, please don't look like you're saying goodbye to me forever. I'm not honest. Yuichi. Shima Sensei calls out to me again from the door. Man, he can be insistent when he wants to. We step out of the room, with me following behind the buck. Barely a few steps outside, we run into Shuichi as he's heading to my classroom, stopping in his tracks once he notices us. Oh, Shima Sensei, good morning. Uh, good morning, Arata. Did something happen? Are you taking Yuichi Kun somewhere? Is he in trouble? And he immediately adds honorific to my name when he's talking about me to a teacher. But how much of a goody two shoes can he be? Katsuragi-san had something she wished to discuss, and asked that I come fetch him. That's all I know. Shuichi nods, turning his head to look at me. What did you do? Me? N nothing! I have no idea what's going on. Why is it I have trouble believing you? How should I know? The real question should be, why do you have to be so why do you have such a bad opinion of me if you don't think I did something? Well, at least I know you would have been informed if Yuichi-kun were really in trouble, Sensei. Please, let me know if anything happens that you guys need my help with. I'll keep you in the loop. Thank you. I'll see you later in class. The two nod at each other, with Shuichi giving me a quick wave before walking past me and letting us continue on our way. Man, I know he tries to act more proper as the student council president when the teachers are around, but he could at least act a bit more like my friend, too. It was cold. You really do have good friends. Huh? As soon as Shuichi is out of earshot, the two of us have started walking to the, to the faculty office once again. Shima Sensei speaks in a low enough voice that I can barely hear him. Urata seemed pretty worried about you. Did he? He barely even acknowledged I was here. Don't be stupid. Urata knows better than anyone that, even as a student council president, it's not his place to ask a teacher about whether or not a student is in trouble. He also knows that, as your homeroom teacher, I would have been informed if you were in trouble. He made me confirm that in front of you so you could relax. Is that so? Yes. Urata is used to dealing with school staff and regulations. He's very good at working within the system. Huh. Hadn't thought about it like that. Though the fact that he expected me to catch on to that shows that he gives me too much credit. Never in a million years would I have realized that. But without even having to look at me, Shima Sensei noticed all that and told me point blank. He's a pretty nice guy after all, even if he is a weird ass teacher. <laughs> a few minutes later. Katsuragi-san, I've brought him like you asked. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Har Haranobokun. Shima Sensei sighs, leaving me standing awkwardly by the door while he walks to what I presume is his desk and picks up a pile of folders. Katsuragi-sen, please don't refer to me by my first name in front of a student. Katsuragi-sensei smiles softly, looking at Shima Sensei from above her, from above her glasses. Don't be such a stranger, Hanarobokun. Take it from someone with more experience. Teachers are people too. You don't need to be so stiff around your students. Please, don't spoil them. Spoil us? She's going to spoil us. This man has clearly never seen Katsuragi Sensei teaching a class in his life. And Michimaya kun don't glare at me like that. I'm not glaring. Regardless, I will leave you two now. I have some work I need to get to. Make sure you don't wind up not eating again. Shima Sensei nods at her words, quickly walking past me and out the door. Wait, if he's going to work outside of the class outside of class time, isn't the faculty room the place to do that in? Katsuragi Sensei chuckles, pulling out a chair near her and gesturing to it. I take her invitation, deciding that standing around awkwardly the whole time isn't going to make, any, make anything easier, whatever this talk is supposed to be about. I believe that was his way of giving us privacy. He must be under the impression that this is a conversation one of us wouldn't want others to know about. What? what is it? You can breathe easy, Yuji-kun. You are not in trouble, if that's, what you're if that's what you're so tense about. Oh, that's better. Why did you have me called here so suddenly if there's nothing going on? Going on? I didn't say there was nothing going on. All I said is that you were not in trouble. Look, y'all, it is water time. Oh, huh. I'm not used to being called in here unless I'm in trouble, so I didn't even consider that possibility. To be completely honest, I actually called you over to discuss an opportunity that has presented itself to you. 
an opportunity? Yes. Now, before you come out saying you're not interested, I would rather you listen to me until I am finished. Um, okay. Truth be told, we have had a certain institution reach out to us recently. It seems they had attempted to get in touch with you before, but you never got it. But never got an answer before. But never got an answer before. They don't even know if you've seen the emails they sent you. Emails? I don't remember anything about that. Though I do delete any email that seems like kind of like kind of a scouting offer. So maybe that's what she means. Sensei, if you're talking to me about a scouting offer, I. What did I just say about interrupting? S sorry. Don't piss her off. For the love of all that is holy, don't piss her off. I still remember this one time, back when she was still teaching, when I cracked up the dumb joke instead of answering a question. She asked me, and she gave me a withering stare. For a whole week, I flinched every time she looked my way. The institution in question is a renowned university in Vancouver, Canada. They have offered you a full-ride scholarship if you join their sports program. I waited for Mikado to give, to give me the all-clear to talk to you about it, since he said you might not be ready for something like that. Coach? Coach? What does he have to do with that? Mikado-sensei has kept a close eye on you for the past few years. When the university reached out to us, he said to give you more time, that you are not in the best state of mind to go to such a competitive environment, and that telling you about it without knowing if you'd ever be... if you'd ever be... <laughs> telling you about it without knowing if you'd ever be... if you'd ever be wouldn't be right. He, what? When? You've been watching me? Closely? He barely even shows up to practice half the time. Even when he does show up, he always focuses on other players and doesn't spend any time coaching me. I might relent and accept that he's a half-decent coach, but there's no way he's managed to keep an eye on me throughout all this. Is there? Either way, we're, we are talking about an opportunity worth 100 million yen. It would cover your room, access to training facilities, private coaches, classes at their campus and a list of pre-approved programs, and they have the top-of-the-line training facilities too, from what I've been told. This, this is a lot to take in. Yes, I can imagine that it would be. Here, we got this brochure for you. It has information on the school and should allow you to find out anything else you might want to know. I really appreciate the offer, but I don't plan on going to college. It's, and I intend on going pro as soon as I graduate from school. Yes, yes, I knew you might say that. However, I strongly recommend that you take the time to properly think this through. This kind of offer is absurdly generous. You might never get a chance like this again in your lifetime. But... But all that is totally not moot if I don't have the time to actually play. Oh, of course. Along with the offer, they also, they've also they also offered flexibility with your schoolwork and schedule. Of course, that would be a bare minimum GPA you would need to maintain while you are while you were there. But frankly, if you can get by at our school without any such concessions, I struggle to believe you would fail there. Flexibility? Of course. They do want you to be there for your potential, after all. It is in their best interest that you complete while, that you compete while attending. That way, their training program and coaches can take part of the credit for your future success. It's a very shrewd offer from a business point of view. That's... huh. So they want me to, so they want me to go pro? Just while studying there? Wouldn't that make me the same as Morisaki-san and Sasaki-san? Going pro while studying. It had the idea mentioned to me a few times, but I'd never even considered it. As far as I know, a college curriculum is way stricter than high school. I didn't think it would be possible for me to juggle training, competitions, and schoolwork all at the same time. But if they're offering flexibility... No, no, no! Don't let yourself be swayed that easily. This is what they this is what they want! I appreciate the offer, Sensei, but I'm not going to be dazzled by a bunch of high, high numbers and forget what I'm really striving for. Really? Because it seems to me that if you take their offer, you'll get everything you want and more. That's... If you accept this offer, you wouldn't have to work part-time to keep up with your expenses living abroad. After all, you do know that there is no way you'd be able to get through the cost of living in America all on your own without working, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I know that. There's no way Mom would be able to pay for those kinds of costs alone. That'd be so unrealistic. Second, y'all, it is water time. Oh, yeah. Got me a big old mug of fizzy water. Alright. Besides, I never planned on relying on her in the first place. Yeah, I was going to work part-time for a while, at least until I started getting enough in prize money that I won't need to keep doing that. So, okay, sure. Sensei has a point there that this would probably make my life easier, but still. College lasts for, like, a while. I don't know if I can commit that many years to it. And what if I outgrow the facilities too fast? Will I end up stuck with coaches that can't really help me? God, this is a lot to consider. Maybe I should ask Keisuke about it. He's a research and planning type. He might be able to help me make, uh, make sense of this offer. I... I see. 
Could you just give me the details of the offer in written form so I can look over them later with a cool head? Of course. It's already encouraging enough that you're even going as far as to ask that. I might be hard-headed, but I'm not a moron. If you tell me there's this good of an opportunity for me, I might as well look into it. Plus, Gaithke is really good with this sort of thing, so he might be able to tell me which would be a better choice for my- Oh. Wait. That's right. I don't even know if KSK is still talking to me. Crap! Right, I was going to wait to see if he'd show up for lunch break today so I could talk to him then. I got distracted by all this and forgot. Yeah, so if you could give me that brochure, whatever it is, I'll be get. Yes, yes, just give me a second. The offer was sent to us by email, so I need to print it out first. Sure, take your time. By which I mean, please hurry it up! You don't have to look at me like that. I have no intention of keeping you from enjoying your lunch. Right, my lunch. It somehow takes her a full five minutes before she finally manages to print out the email with the offer. I'm not trying to make fun of her for her age or anything, but good lord, how can someone be that slow with a computer? She opened a search engine to search for her email provider instead of just typing down the link. It's just... I can't... Ah! Oh god, finally. Half of lunch break was already over by the time I made it back to class. This is horrible, horrible timing for them to call me over for something like that. What kind of gods must I have pissed off for this to happen today of all days? Jesus, I've become such a drama queen sometimes. I really need to cool it down. Hey there. Oh, you witchy son. What happened? Was everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She just wanted to ask about a scouting offer. Wow. They got tired of being left unread in your email and started re reaching out to the school instead. Apparently. Really? They sent, a te they sent a teacher here to fetch you just because of that? They had to have known you wouldn't be interested, right? Katsuragi-sensei was very insistent that I listen. She didn't make it even a little bit subtle just how much she thought I should accept this offer. Of course she didn't. No matter how talented you are, no sane teacher is going to support such an intelligent student shirking higher education in favor of trying to make a living as a professional athlete. The odds of success are so astronomically low, you might as well gamble on the lottery. You're exaggerating way too much. No, I'm not. You might be an incredibly talented player, but not everyone is. They work with statistics. What are the odds of a regular Joe going into a field making it as a professional? That's the kind of thing they have to think about. Whatever. Don't get mad at me. I'm not trying to convince you to take the offer. I'm just explaining what a teacher's rationale might be. You're not trying to convince me? That's a first. Even I have to accept when I'm beat. Trying to convince you to go to college is like talking to a door. There were nicer ways to say that. I meant no offense, but you have to admit that you're absurdly stubborn. Sticking to your pre-established plan isn't being stubborn, it's... Wait, what the hell am I doing? Why am I even arguing over this? This doesn't matter right now. Actually, forget it. Where's Keisuke? Did he go to the bathroom or something? Uh, Keikun, he's not coming today. He's not? Oh, yeah, you wanted to talk to him. Like, you know, water time. Okay. Oh, yeah, you wanted to talk to him. He did? About what? Um, that much I don't know. Jeez, thank you so much for telling everyone, June. He said he had some work he needed to do over lunch, so he wouldn't be coming. He was on his way to the library when I went to fetch him. That's... that's... no! Are you okay? Today officially sucks. That is not the look of someone who is okay. That is for... That, I'm, I'm, blah, that much is for sure. Don't look so down. You can talk to him after class. No, I can't. He refused to come here today right after the conversation Alexander had with me yesterday before taking him away. It's pretty obvious what happened. He's... He's avoiding me. Oh god, is he going to avoid me until he finally breaks up with me? Or worse yet, is he just going to ghost me forever? Won't I even have the chance to say goodbye? That's... That's too cruel, Keisuke! Whoa, hey, what's going on? There's no need to cry. Yuichi, what's wrong? Sh shut up! Y you don't have to scream so the whole class can hear. Ugh, what a bunch of idiots! The last thing I need right now is for a ton of attention to be called to me. Though, I'm lucky I caught myself when I did. I was about to break down in front of everyone. It's really dangerous. I think the lack of sleep is making me even more emotional than usual. I'm not really the type that cries at the drop of a hat, but what the hell, me? Not knowing what else to say, and with no choice but to calm myself down right away before I end up making even more of a scene, I sat down with the three dark with three dorketeers and began shoving food in my mouth as fast as I could. At least food makes me feel better. God, I can't let this I can't let this become a habit. It'd be terrible co it'd be a terrible coping mechanism. A few hours later, the bell rings, announcing the end of the day's last period. Those who are free immediately rush to their clubs or their homes after a few more words from our teacher. However, certain unlucky few have to hang around for a while longer to perform certain bothersome, undesirable tasks. 
the daily cleanup, and now today of all days when I most want to rush out of this classroom and seek Keisuke out immediately, turns out to also be one of the days where I am chosen. If this is not the biggest middle finger from the universe, I know what I know what else would I know what else would qualify. Yo, what are you doing? Not now. I'm trying to get this done so I can leave soon. I can see that. Stop rushing. You're going to end up making more work for others. It's cleaning. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to... For fuck's sake! See? What did I tell you? I was rushing to try and pick up the garbage bag after emptying the dust chute in it. I accidentally kneed the can and knocked it over, spilling out a bunch of dust, empty wrappers, plastic containers, cans, among other things. Alright, y'all. I'll go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Be sure to check out that Patreon, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!